So this week I'm in Dechen. Now if you're into camping, hiking, possibly rock climbing, and of course great places to eat, then this could be the perfect weekend getaway for you. So join me for two days as I explore and air Qatar my way through Dechen. So we decided to start the day right with a good book and coffee. And of course, a Czech cake that I can't pronounce. A Czech cake called Babovka. Babo. <laughs> Babovka. This airy fluffy piece of cake is something you will see a lot in Czech, so try it out if you get the chance. So after two espressos and a really bad book, it was time to check out Dechen Castle. So this century-old castle is a must-see when visiting Dechen. From the rose garden to its beautiful views of the town, a very common theme I'm starting to notice here in this country is that they have so many unique and beautiful castles. So after walking around the whole castle from the inside and outside, it was time to grab a bite to eat. And we knew Delicious Tacos was on the other side of the river. Carl's Grill Bar. This would be the first stop that made me realize how good the food is in Dechen. Man, look at that. That's so good. Taco number one was pulled beef cooked in orange juice, pico de gallo, and hot sauce. This was simply heaven. Next up, a sloppy joe taco with grilled peppers and pickled red onions. It was so delicious, I couldn't stop nodding my head. Absolutely amazing. Last up, I had to order a burger. Homemade onion jam, crispy bacon bits. This was simply awesome, and I was one happy customer. So after drinking a few ciders and trying to figure out why there are hanging clothes at this street party, it was time to head back to our camp and get some sleep. So after a pretty good sleep, we're ready to do some more exploring. But first, a quick stop to a local bakery to grab some baked goods. After grabbing some kolache, we sat down and watched the rock climbers. We thought about doing the rock climb to the top, but we went with the safer option. Slowly walking from the bottom of the hill to the top. To our surprise, there was a zoo, which was pretty okay. And as you finally make it to the top, nothing beats a beautiful view. But now we need coffee from another place I can't pronounce. So now we're going to Okr, 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 Ok. What am I saying? Go again. <laughs> A newly opened espresso bar, this was by far the best coffee I had while in Dechen. And throughout our trip, we would frequently stop here to get our coffee fix. We are back <laughs> of course as well, it had cakes to complement that coffee. And overall, this was a really nice place to relax and get ready for another nature experience. So we chose quite an easy trail, with lots of great stops and photo opportunities. And if you're wondering, no, I didn't catch my precious collage.
Now after making our way back to camp, we got ready for a special night. But if you're looking for a budget friendly stay, this seemed to be one of the cheapest. This campsite had their own bar, friendly staff, and a really great area to relax after a day of exploring. Not only that, they served beer on tap and they free poured their cocktails, which made them very strong. So I highly recommend this place if you're here for the weekend. So it was my wife's name day and we went to eat at this upmarket restaurant. From homemade ice cream, a bakery section, great cocktails and a well thought out menu where modern meets traditional, this seemed to have it all. Look at me, I'm like sweaty mess from hiking. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel fancy. We started off with some cocktails. We also got some homemade bread, which I asked my wife to critique. Bread. <laughs> <laughs> Our first entree was snails with puff pastry, demi-glaze and bernays sauce. With these two very rich sauces complementing each other, this really was delicious. The only problem is that we should have ordered two. After a few more drinks, our mains arrived. Lamb with almond croquettes and creamy spinach sauce and venison ragu with wild cranberries. These dishes were both rich and full of flavor and may look small, but unbelievably filling. How was it? Really good, I'm really full. <laughs> so after those mains, we ordered desserts, despite being in a food coma. Spitschka, a sponge cake with liqueur cream and chocolate mousse. Now I've been told this usually looks like a penis shaped cake, but since this is a more fine dining setting, they changed it into a boob with a golden nipple. This place was great. We actually came back for breakfast too. House made smoked salmon with your eggs Benedict. You really can't go wrong. So if you're in Dechen for a couple of days, try this place out, you won't regret it. Thanks for watching. If you're a nature lover and you want to try some amazing food, then definitely come to Dechen and I will see you next week.